Okay, so for those of you who asked, uh, I've posted a video um, giving you uh, instructions on how to perform the exercises correctly, uh, and I appreciate that uh, sometimes pictures help uh, better than words. There's a full breakdown of, um, of the program on, on Facebook, just go through my page and uh, I've given you a full breakdown of what you're doing and why you're doing it. But uh, it helps, and a lot of people ask for a video to actually be shown and demonstrated the actual movements for real. I uh, remember this program, uh, I've got it written down here, um, so I go through it properly with you. Uh, we're, we're basically working uh, primarily on joint integrity and strength for the first, first to 10 days, one to 10 days. So we're working on the integrity of the joint and the, the strength of the joints. Uh, then we're looking at the increase in the uh, motor skill. So basically the movement pattern gets in the brain to muscle, uh, the connections going, uh, increasing your motor skills. We're improving the stamina and the endurance of the muscle, which is why we're working for two minutes at a time. Uh, it's important when we're doing this, it's two minutes work, remember? 60 seconds rest, two minutes work, 60 seconds rest, move to the next exercise. So in total, it's 32 minutes for the, for the program. Um, that's including a rest period, so it's not, it's not a lot. It's 32 minutes, but it's every day for 10 days. Um, also, through this, you'll include, improve your uh, blood supply to the tendons. So if you're not used to training, um, again, it, you'll improve the blood supply to the tendons. And it helps with mental toughness because, as you can see in the video, I mean, the guys on the video, Joe and, uh, and uh, Anna, who helped uh, me film the video, they, they train a lot. They found it quite tiring. So, like I said, it, it takes it's a mental toughness as well. Uh, so I hope you enjoy it. Uh, try days 1 to 10 and then I'll post days 11 to 20 uh, in a few days time uh, and then we'll, we'll move on from there. Thanks. So this exercise here before we start to go, basically it's a prerequisite for the squat. So it's called a sit to stand. So Joe's going to demonstrate the correct technique. With regards to the setter, we need to get either a bench or a step. Roughly, if you come back Joe. Roughly, uh, depending on the flexibility of the, the client just below the back of the knee. Um, when you're coming down, if it's starting to hurt the knee, then, then use a higher bench, use a higher step. Okay, but Joe's flexible enough to be able to, to come down to sit here. Okay, so we're going to come under the bar. When you're grabbing the bar, you're going to shoulder width apart, and then lock knees in, pull back, so using the musculature in here to spine. Get and then take the weight. Feet up apart. If you can see, she's got her feet up apart here. She's going to come down to a seated position. Okay, and then straight, and then push it up from there. Okay, good. And then come down, so down to squat position. Up straight, so the hip flexors are off, and then up. Okay, control it down, so squat it down. Okay, back up. And she'll do this now for two minutes. Okay, so down, a little bit quicker, come up straight. It's one good, go down. Good, and straight. Good, and down. Good, keep control, and up. So as she comes down now, so she's controlled down in a squat position. Then we take back, so the hip flexors are turned off, coming up, so we're using the glutes and the hamstrings. Coming down. One, two, three, two, and going up, going and back the bar. Okay, so basically, Joe now performs uh, one set, two minutes work. I uh, rest for a strict 60 seconds, no longer. The second set, rest for 60 seconds, and then we go to movement two. So movement two uh, is a vertical press, so we're doing the seated military press. You can use a bench if you want to, but Anna's flexibility here, so she's strong enough to hold good posture while she presses. Again, it's good practice to be in a rack, so if you do need to put the weight down, you can put it down somewhere, so maybe a rack behind you or in front, or use a spotter with you on this one. Uh, although it's only a light weight or maybe even a bar, uh, after two minutes work, uh, your shoulder's going to feel like and it's going to feel now. Okay, so if you take the bar, so from the clavicle, wide grip, and then from here, stabilize the stomach, it's going to be two minutes work. Okay, and then just press up in your own time and down. Nice, good, keep going four, good, two. Okay, we're going to keep going for two minutes here. Excellent, good. Okay, good. And then basically, from this position, you can see here her feet hip width apart. She's got a stomach pulled in tight here. She's keeping good posture and she's not allowing her back here to, to get too shallow either. So she's got good posture, she's pressing, she's breathing, and she's lifting from the club up. Okay, fully extended, head's coming through, nice extension of the back. That's the form you're looking you look at in this exercise. Okay, good. Okay, so Anna's got 20 seconds to go. So she's still got good technique. She'll start to spine as a burn in the shoulders here now. 
So part of this program is to get you used to working hard, get you used to constant and also to improve your motor skill. Good, keep it going. Five seconds, and again. Nice, and good. Keep it going, and again, let's go. Four, work hard, nearly done. Okay, one more rep now, one more rep, and press. Nice, good, okay, slow it down. Okay, as you can see then, that's two minutes work on it's just done there. Uh, this at the moment would be the correct weight for you to use. Okay, how's it feel? Painful. <laughs> cool. Okay, so this next one is the vertical pull. So we're going to hold, sorry, we're going to hold wide to start with, uh, and on day 11 we're going to adjust the grip. So pulling down, so we're going to have a wide grip. So from here, we're going to pull down to the clamp pull. So to the front, to the top of the chest, good, and slowly up, fully extend from here and pull down. Fully extend, so this is the vertical pull, and uh, two minutes worth. It's good speed, keep that speed going. So again, I'm just going to keep a good posture here. Okay, Anne's got 40 seconds left now. So as you can see here, she's working her, her lats down here. Uh, also her biceps slightly. Uh, and you can see the tone already she's got here in the, in the external rotators and all around here in the spine. Uh, and strong rhomboids and trapezes here too. Good, keep it going. So you've got 15 seconds. Fully extend. Good. Make sure when you do this exercise you get full extension and then pull. Good. And up, full extension, relax and then pull. Okay, that's five. This is the um, movement pattern four. This is the vertical press, not vertical press, the horizontal press. So we're using the chest press here for days one to ten. Uh, day eleven to twenty, we'll move um, onto the onto a bench press, onto a bench press, uh, barbell press. So we're using the chest press machine here. Just make sure, depending on what type of machine you use, you get the full range of movement. Uh, you want the bar here roughly in line with the middle of the chest. Feet hip width apart. We're going to do exactly the same as we do on everything else. So we're going to do two minutes work, 60 seconds rest, two minutes work, 60 seconds rest. Uh, be strict with the rest, okay? If you're not working for two minutes, you're slacking. Okay, so we'll go now. So two minutes, so push it out. Good. And back in, good. Five, four, three, two, one more. Okay, good. So this is movement five, which is a, a, a learn to draw a split squat, if you like. So basically, on, the, on movement one, with Joe performed before, it was uh, pushing off the floor. This one, we're actually pulling the legs off the floor. So as opposed to pushing up, we're pulling away. Uh, so you need to start off with your feet hip width apart. This is going to basically your, your running line here. So just lunge forward first with one leg. So we come down. So the knee isn't quite coming past the toe, so that's okay there. Nice straight line here between the knee and the hip. Back's nice and straight, then you pull back, then we're going to change legs, lunge down, pull back, good, and then change, come back, pull down, nice, good, keep it going, and back. So we're going to do this now for two minutes, 60 seconds rest, good. And again, you come in a little bit narrower, whatever's a bit more lateral for you, that's fine. Yeah, that's better. Good. Okay, so she's got now 30 seconds left in a two minute step. So with all of these, you need to keep working for the whole two minutes, otherwise uh, you won't get effective the program. So two minutes work, one minute rest. If this weight is too heavy, put it down and then continue to use two minutes work.